Hello, everybody. It is me, Pacific. Happy Friday. Well, got me some education this morning. Watched several videos, read some articles, and I got a way in. Why wouldn't I? Cecil the Lion, Zimbabwe, Africa. One of the biggest lions. Reports vary from 13 to 15 years of age. Had quite a pride of lions. Photographed, loved by tourists. Until Walter Palmer, 55-year-old Minnesota boy, comes along. Proud, cocky game hunter. I'm going to make some statements that are going to offend everybody on both sides of the fence. The picture I see in the Zimbabwe article shows a bunch of white women with their contorted poster child for happy, got it together white females with their angry, extradite, palmer, killer, murderer, blah, blah, blah. And I'll bet you those same women support abortion. Go figure. I'm going to blast both parties. I want people to know the Pacific grew up watching... Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Dastrol's Geographic Specials. I used to watch Jacques Cousteau. I have a fascination for God's creation. Big game hunting has been a historic American sport. But as I've gotten older, I ask myself just one simple question. Why? To go hunt down, kill, destroy an animal just to mount its head and hide to the wall as your little trophy of arrogance, thinking you're a man because you, armed with a weapon, it's just, to me, it's not sport. There's allegations being made that Walter Palmer and a safari hunting group lured Cecil out of the park. Because his response is telling, well, I had all the permits. I'm legal. Really? You know that this animal's beloved and your ego's so big that you don't care. Even if it went out on its own accord, you're going to shoot it. I don't have a high opinion for Minnesota anyway. I spent seven years of my life up there and... It's not very Minnesota nice, in my opinion. But Walter's typical of the hunter mentality. And their ugly hunter green pickups and hunter green attire that they wear at formals on the Iron Range in Minnesota. And that's considered classic clothing. I'm not against hunting, but most hunters get deer for the venison, for the meat. But to hunt for big game, to slaughter and kill an animal for trophies as testimony to your ego, and the fight's not fair. I say, Walter, why don't you get down there on all fours and fight that lion like a man? Put your guns and put your arrows away. And then what's sick is he injured the animal, kept it in a cage for two days, and then eventually shot it. <sighs> That's definitely animal cruelty, is it not? Walter Palmer did a stupid, stupid, stupid move. I would hope that they throw the book at him. But I'm equally disturbed, as I talked in my videos on pet obsession. We got raccoons running around back here. <clears throat> when we talk about the inordinate affection that our society gives animals. This is big news right now. Big news. <clears throat> it doesn't matter that people are dying in the shiploads due to abject poverty. That, that human beings are suffering around the globe because of their Christian faith. That unspeakable crimes against humanity are committed. Little girls are sodomized and molested as well as little boys. And America yawns and another abducted child on the evening news. But boy, everybody's riveted about 
course, Cecil. I constantly talk about the hypocrisies and the dichotomy of a society that every day is losing its mind. That, on the one hand, Pacific appreciates God's creation, and I say, leave it alone. Don't bulldoze it. Don't shoot it. Don't put a Walmart on it. And yet, those same tree-hugging environmentalists, they go shop at their designer yuppie stores, pay overpriced food for designer food, and buy their <clears throat> FJ cruiser, which stands for F-U-C-K job. The hypocrisies, the double standard, the lunacy of it all. <clears throat> that the whole Save the Planet people are doing quite well, thank you. They don't care about the poor in Manila. They don't care about the poor in Calcutta. But Americans are outraged over the killing of Cecil. <clears throat> it is tragic. It's wrong. But those same Americans aren't outraged that babies are killed every day in the name of abortion. I am going to comment on it. And if Americans have a problem with that, it's their problem, not mine. I'm just stating the truth. Watch how mad they get. Watch them parade around, foam at the mouth, yell all kinds of things, commenting everything from my looks to my thick glasses that this guy's a retard loser ad nauseum. There's something wrong with a society that thinks this way. <clears throat> There's a whole lot of attention is drawn to a lion's death. Never mind the fact that there's people that are silently suffering, just going to work every day, trying to pay the bills, trying to be responsible, ignored, shunned, rejected by this society that clamors after more liberal tripe or more corporate trash or more materialistic bric-a-brac to fill their homes. But now everybody's feathers are ruffled over the killing of a lion. The guy from Minnesota was stupid to wipe out a big, gorgeous, beautiful animal for a head and a hide. The whole thing's fishy. Lured out of the park. Wasn't successful with that arrow. Trap it for two days and then fire away at it. The sad thing is, is Walter thinks he's a man. No, he isn't. He's a coward, hiding behind arrows and a gun and unethical tactics to lure the lion out of the park. I got a problem with people like that, but America's full of those people. I see them on the roads every day. Contractors with the name of their business. Speed limit 65, but 80 is fine for them as they cut everybody off, no blinkers. Wow, you're in a business doing that. I think a lot of people in America are unethical, and they all think they're men. And all his buddies back in Minnesota will stand around going, pretty big lion, eh? What a bunch of retards. Seriously. That's not a man. There's corruption all through it. And the amount of money he's paying for these expeditions. Crazy. People dying in poverty, people struggling, and a guy's paying to shoot and kill some big, beautiful animals. I think Mr. Walter ought to leave his safe little lily-white enclave of Minnesota and live down there in Zimbabwe without a gun and without arrows, and we'll see how long he lasts down there. I think that'd be entertaining enough. It's disgusting. It's disgusting to see all the women champion the cause of a dead lion. It's an animal, folks. I can see both sides of the spectrum, and I think both sides are guilty as heck. Should there be outrage? A little bit. But shouldn't there be more outrage for the untold numbers of aborted babies in the U.S.? And there isn't any from that camp. How about the woman in her SUV and highfalutin clothing and her little poodle that just got a $3,000 hair job 
almost running me over in a crosswalk. I had the right of way. That's okay. As I yell and I say, hey, watch it. And she gives me a filthy look. Yeah, easy. Easy for you to do in your car, babe. You go up and pull that doggy's ears and go, Yarr! You watch her get very, very, very angry. She won't capital punishment. Because somebody abused her doggy. Yeah, I'll comment on the hypocrisy of our society. It needs to be constantly drum beaten. Not enough people are standing up and saying it, so I'll appoint myself. That's what makes my channel successful. But with all due respect, I'm not happy. It's sad what we people do to God's creation. We tear it up, bulldoze it, divide it up, steal it from the natives. Turn around and give them the worst crappy part of the land back. Say, here, here's your Indian reservation. I mean, I'm not afraid to say what my race people have done. I'm not afraid to say what any race people have done. They all have their atrocious behaviors and past. Why can't people leave stuff alone? Lion being a lion, mind its own business. There's no reason to kill it. Unless it's a danger to, our, to a population of people. We'll let the locals take care of it. Not some arrogant, puffed up buckstart wasting too much money as a dentist. In Minnesota, coming down into other territory and thinking he can do whatever he wants. That ain't very Minnesota nice, don't you know? You betcha. It's disgusting. I spent seven years up there. There's some pretty crazy people in that part of the country. Some of them tend to think that Minnesota's the only state that knows how to speak right and everything right. The longer I lived up there, I thought, is this actually one of the continental United States, or is this another country? I think the latter is more accurate. <sighs> Countries that have too much affluence, too much time on their hands, <clears throat> fixate on both sides of the spectrum. People with too much money want to go in and wipe out a big, beautiful animal somewhere else. <clears throat> Feminist and liberal women that support abortion want to scream and yell about the demise of a beautiful lion. And the whole thing reeks. I just think it's kind of crazy the way people think in this country that I call home. Anybody agree with me? Am I, am I speaking truth? Just saying. This is Pacific, signing off. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.